Ah, Vale, Colorado. It's a charming town nestled in the Colorado mountains, about 75 miles outside of Denver. There's more than 5,000 acres of premier ski terrain, a quaint village that pays homage to Austrian architecture, nearly $3 billion in luxury real estate lining its hillsides, and a noisy interstate highway running right through its heart. It's a town that's really divided into two pieces. Most of us have a love-hate relationship with it, but it's a relationship. Mention I-70 to the locals here, and before long, you'll hear about that highway noise. You may also learn the term Jake brakes, the engine brake used to slow a semi-truck on steep grades. Highway noise is, is not a single thing. It's a, it's a, it's a symphony, uh, the, the worst kind, but of, of, of a variety of instruments. Semi-trucks have served as concert master in that symphony since Glenwood Canyon opened in 1992. In a study done in the year 2000, one quarter of Vail's residents were subjected to excessive noise by CDOT standards and vehicle traffic through the 10 Mile Canyon has only doubled since then. Now over the years, myriad ideas have been brought to the table as potential solutions to the I-70 quandary. The inevitability of, of a possible light rail system. A magnetic levitation train. The cut and cover proposal. Autonomous vehicles. And sound reducing pavement, we're told, has helped, well, reduce sound. But one idea found in a 53 page proposal archived on the Vail Town website is more inclined to blow your mind. Imagine instead of I-70 as we know it, there's a tunnel bored through Vail Mountain. How cool would that be? The tunnel would start east of Vail, across the interstate from the Gore Creek Campground. It would continue all the way through Vail Mountain, underneath the ski slopes, and rejoin Interstate 70 9.3 miles later at Dow Junction, west of Vail. It would be the longest road tunnel in North America. When you're looking to drill a hole through a mountain, there's a lot you just don't know. Once you get in there, it's, it's kind of like Forrest Gump. It's, it's like a box of chocolate. You never know quite what you get until you're in there. And, you know, there's a lot of risk um, with, that, with that geology, and it's hard to predict until you open it up. What we do know is that this bad boy would have taken some serious time and some serious resources. Just a few of the wild figures from this proposal. Boring that tunnel's path means moving nearly 6 million cubic yards of dirt. That's north of 350 truckloads per day, every day, for four years. Now, you can only see while you're inside of this tunnel, of course, thanks to about $10 million a year in electric bills. Oh, and all of that can only happen after about five years of research and design. The finished product would be four times longer than its closest relative, the highest road tunnel in the world, the Eisenhower Tunnel. Well, we think the Eisenhower Tunnel is this massive engineering miracle. Now, even supporters will tell you the idea was never all that close to fruition. But some don't understand why even talking about an I-70 change is a delicate topic in these parts. I think a lot of people uh, who are in the government and, and work for the town of Ale would really like to see this idea go away. Well, with a $7 billion price tag, I suppose that's understandable. But let's clear something up. Finding a solution along I-70 through Vail isn't just about appeasing the residents of this wealthy resort community looking for a little more peace and quiet. It, it also splits the town into two pieces. For, for a person to walk as a pedestrian from one side of the interstate to the other is very difficult. There's been no shortage of ideas to solve the I-70 predicament, like architect Sig Bjornsson's idea to cover the existing I-70 path and add real estate on top of it. A cap and cover. But for now, it's that symphony of semi-trucks and the ever-growing number of vehicles passing through the valley. And massive infrastructure changes are left to the imagination. Maybe someday, uh, we, uh, when we you know, come across a rich uncle, we'll dig a hole. Who knows, right? For Denver 7 in Vail, Colorado, I'm Landon Hoff.